Good morning, it's the market update for Friday the 16th. I'm back to being FX Flu. FX Flu is a thing of the past. Thanks very much, Lemsip. Um, and the highlights for the market update today are as follows. Sterling is a little higher across the board. Uh, the employment data from the Eurozone helps continue the Euro slow and steady growth. And the dollar index is down over 2%. In the UK, the market seems to be currently failing to price in any Brexit risk, focusing instead on the positive elements of wage growth inflation and the likelihood of a near-term interest rate rise. As a result, sterling was pushed higher and it broke through an important resistance level against cable yesterday and also moved higher against uh, the euro, touching one, over 112.75. Meanwhile, the euro slow and steady growth continues um, and again, it's spurred slightly by a weaker dollar yesterday. But should that rally break, you know, maybe 125.80 or 126, then the ECB may have a difficult challenge on how to continue the growth for the weaker eurozone nations. Donald Trump, I'll say that again, Donald Trump is not somebody that we spend much time and give much attention to here, largely because this isn't a comedy show. Um, but there's no doubt that he lives in the right here, right now. And that may well help explain why he's giving so little attention and so little concern to the current US government debt ballooning over a trillion dollars. I'm sure he is well aware that he'll be long gone from the White House when, when that house of cards topples. We are in no way affiliated to Netflix, by the way. Um, but the market is less blinkered and the concerns over the government debt um, have helped lower the dollar. Ultimately, the market recognises that overseas buyers of US debt, primarily Japan and China, will expect the US to pay higher yields on the interest on the debt that they sell as the continuing debt mountain um, increases. The dollar index yesterday did hit a fresh three year low, breaking through the low last seen in January and has continued to fall overnight as the euro broke through the resistance against the dollar. So all in all, a little bit of a bleak day for the, for the dollar, a uh, blink of view by the president, and he's crossing his fingers that it'll all go away, no doubt. But a weaker dollar does potentially benefit the US, so the conspiracy theorists can go wild with that one. We'll keep you posted throughout the day as the data comes through. In the meantime, I wish you a great weekend, and I'll see you again on Monday.